Hi, as birthday said, I am Mariah Russell, and I'm going to be talking with you a little bit about burners with border, without borders, rather. <laughs> burners with boundaries. Let's talk about this. Oh, that's your fault. No, she has boundaries. Burners with boundaries. Sorry, I have burners without borders. Okay. Completely different. I'm going to talk about it more on a meta level, and just like Rachel said, if you have more questions about what we're doing on a local level, please come talk to me after. So the mission of Burners Without Borders is that Burners Without Borders promotes activities around the globe that support a community's inherent capacity to thrive by encouraging innovative approaches to disaster relief and grassroots initiatives that make a positive impact. So Burners Without Borders was started as a direct, I don't know, um, a direct response to Hurricane Katrina. And then Burners Without Borders was really brought to Colorado when we had all those floods in northern Colorado a couple of years ago. And so a lot of people think Burners Without Borders and disasters. And that is a great correlation. However, it goes much further. There's a lot more that we can do with Burners Without Borders than just disaster relief. So this is, Burners Without Borders became an official part of the Burning Man Network when Burning Man went through this transition to become a nonprofit. And the question here is what can we do to have civic engagement? How do we actually take the art, the skills, the abilities of the Burning Man community and use that to help our local communities thrive? Our community beyond the Burning Man Network, or the Burning Man community rather. And so we have started to do some projects in Colorado. And actually, at the GLC, they really encouraged all of the communities to do projects before Burning Man. And I came back from GLC. We did have a couple of meetings. We had a group. We had a wonderful project that we planned up in Bailey. And then, because of various reasons, that was something that the community decided not to do. And then people felt a little overwhelmed right before Burning Man. And so the question is, what is Burners Without Borders? It's whatever we want it to be. If something doesn't cost money, then it's super easy to do. If something does cost money, that's when it becomes more of a communal effort. This is when we can get together and raise money. Burners Without Borders is a 501c3 nonprofit. People can donate money to them, earmarked for Colorado, for projects in Colorado, or they can just directly donate money to the national organization and then the national organization does have a grant process. The national grant process only allows $500 to $1,000 for projects, so they really are looking for projects that people can do with our skills, resources, and talents that don't require a lot of financial input. So some things, one of my favorite projects that I've heard about was a Halloween project up in the uh, Pacific Northwest where they knew of a homeless population and the community went and they had a connection there and they actually threw a Halloween party. They brought the costumes, they brought the face painters, they brought a healthy dinner and they brought candy. And they brought art cars and they had a party for the homeless community. And this was something, obviously, people knew the community, they spoke to the people in the community, and they felt that that was a good relation. You know, I do not have this relationship with a homeless community in Denver, so it's not something that I would start. But what are these populations we already know? Who do we know that needs our help, and how can we activate and mobilize this energy that we have in our community? We have so many tools and so many skills and that's one of the things that I love, going to Burning Man, watching how what I have learned at the burn, what I have learned from you guys as a community, and I've watched this go out into the rest of the world, but how can we consciously take this out into the world by doing this to help other people, rather than just to do it because we love to do it? And one of the big questions is how can we gather as a community, and not just gather for parties, and not just gather because we love to have the salon talks or the lovely potlucks, and those are all beautiful, beautiful things, but how can we take this energy in this community that we have and use it to benefit more? And then once we have our community, 
once we know our resources, once people are being active, then if another disaster like the floods happens, then we know the people that are interested, we know the skill sets they have, we know the special tools they have, and we can mobilize quickly. And so that's what Burners with Borders is asking for all of us to do, is how can we come together to create our, take this art into the world, take our creativity into the world, and give it to everyone. And so we have been doing Burners Without Borders meetings in Colorado. We've had a couple of them recently, and we have a Facebook group. If you look up Burners Without Borders Colorado, come join our Facebook group, and we will hopefully be having a website come up very shortly. And if you have any questions, please come talk to me later, or you can find me, mariahfg.com. Thank you.